Hey everybody, I'm Becky Adams. Thank you for stopping by my YouTube channel today. Today I have a project that's um, a little bit different. I am working with the sampler kit from Scrapbook and Cards Today magazine. This is the July sampler and it has um, a combination of kind of two collections and then a stamp set and a die set. So the die set is exclusive to Scrapbook and Cards Today magazine. The stamp set is from Gina K Designs. And then there are um, two different collections. There's a Doodlebug collection, which is the one that I will be working with today. And then there is also the Round Trip collection from uh, Maggie Holmes and American Crafts. So I am creating an eight and a half by 11 layout today. I wanted to just do something different. Um, so I've tried to kind of shake things up and do a few different sizes. So my background is a piece of black cardstock and then I layered a piece of white cardstock on top of that and stitched around the edge. And then I also put the in the tiny letter stickers um, those did not come in the kit. kit. That's um, one thing that I did use for my stash to complete the title because I wanted the title to be Hello Baby Girl. And then I cut out the title. So the background I cut out out of this striped paper from, I believe the collection is called My Happy Place from Doodlebug Design. And then I cut out the word, the actual word hello out of pattern paper and then I also cut it out several times out of white cardstock and then layered them all together to give it more of a, a chipboard effect. I have three photos that I'm working with today of my sweet niece. The color on these photos wasn't great. It, they were taken in my office and it was kind of dark and so I printed them in uh, black and white and they will go perfectly with this um, fun layout. So the photos I believe are printed at uh, about two by three and I wanted to kind of stair step them across the layout. So the one that's on the left is um, placed the highest and then the one on the right is placed the lowest and then the other, the one in the middle is just the, the in-between. So on one of the six by six papers I fussy cut a whole bunch of florals. I personally love fussy cutting and you can get a lot of embellishments even from a little bit of pattern paper. All the pattern papers that um, come in the sampler kits are, uh, I believe they're all six by six. There might be some six by eight, but for this kit, it's definitely all um, six by six. So I just took a few minutes and cut out a bunch of those flowers and I want to kind of scatter them across the page um, starting kind of on the left side about where the photo is and then just kind of trail them down under the photo and around the title um, off to the right. When you are fussy cutting those make sure to fussy cut the flowers some of the flowers that are on the edges too. You'll notice the ones that I put on first um, that were from, like that have the side cut off of them that are on the edge. That's how they were on the pattern paper. So I just fussy cut around those because I knew that I would need some that went off the edge of the page to um, make my design work. So I just fussy cut those and they work perfectly. So I just adhered them on, on the edges of the page. I printed my journaling strips and I d haven't adhered them yet, but I wanted them to just um, kind of hold their place there on the layout so that I made sure to leave enough room for my journaling and um, I didn't put too many flowers there. So above the photos, I have that blue circle die cut and I wanted to put um, a pink heart die cut and I know there there was a pink heart die cut in this kit somewhere but I could not find it anywhere so ultimately I think you'll see me looking for that die cut here in just a minute but ultimately I ended up putting a flower there and I actually like that 
better. Um, I did find the red, or the, excuse me, the pink heart die cut um, on the floor in my office a little bit later after I had finished the layout and taken photos and everything. So, you know, the, the pink heart was just not meant to be on this project and it actually worked out for the better because I do uh, like the flower. So some of the flowers I adhered with a pop dot and some of them I adhered just with a tape runner and some of them with liquid glue. It honestly just depended on the size and the placement as to which adhesive I used. Um, one other thing that I did want to mention about the sampler kit is that not all the kits are identical. So they all have generally the same supplies, but um, your kit might look a little bit different than my kit. So I'm flipping through, this is where I start um, searching for that die cut that I knew was in there somewhere. Um, most of what I'm going through right now is from the Maggie Holmes um, round trip collection. And I will, I'll use that portion of the kit um, at another time, but today I just couldn't resist the uh, doodle bug collection. So you saw I was even kind of prying apart my background to see if I had accidentally adhered that die cut in the middle of my layout, but um, I did not. So while I was kind of looking for that um, die cut, I decided that I wanted to stamp the date on this page. So there was a file tab die cut in the kit and I cut that in half so that I can use um, the other piece for another project. And then I just have a date stamp. I believe this is a Heidi Swap date stamp. Some plain black just dye ink from scrapbook.com. And I stamp the date and then I'll just adhere it right there um, next to that blue circle. So there's the little, um, kind of a coral color um, flower that I end up using, layering on top of that blue circle instead of the, the heart die cut. And I'll just have to find another use for that heart die cut because I do, I really do like how this one turned out. So I print my journaling at home using just my regular um, printer and, um, just white printer paper and then I cut it down with um, my paper trimmer and then I put a double-sided um, eighth of an inch double-sided tape on the back of each strip and I leave them all connected on one of the margins and then cut them apart and adhere them to my layout when I'm ready. So I'm just using some, um, I think these are scrapbook.com scissors. And I'm just, I do keep in mind which scissors that I use um, for this because they do get a little bit of adhesive on them sometimes. And you definitely don't want to ruin uh, your good scissors uh, by getting adhesive on there. So this cute cute stamp set i will have to use those flowers on another project but today i wanted to just use that little tiny heart and uh, kind of scatter some hearts around the top of the layout so i am just taking my um, black black ink from scrapbook.com and uh, stamping some black hearts here above the the photos and that will be uh, kind of the finishing touch on this project is to is just a few of those stamped hearts I think that that just is the perfect kind of whimsical touch to uh, this layout and I'm so happy with how it turned out. Um, it was a really fun project. I know that I will probably get a couple of questions so I will just add this layout to 
my regular albums, but instead of using a 12 by 12 page protector, I'll just put it in an eight and a half by 11 page protector and just put it in with my 12 by 12 layout. So I don't keep a separate album for um, the eight and a half by 11. So anyway, here's some still shots of this project. I hope that you will check out the sampler kit. I will leave a link to it in the description box below. Thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate you taking time out of your day to uh, spend with me and I will see you again soon.